Dan here at NAB 2018, and we found uh, some interesting technology we wanted to share with you. I'm here with Dan from Megaphone TV, and Dan, uh, you were showing me your live polling and audience interaction platform. Maybe you could tell us a bit about it. Yeah, so Megaphone is a comprehensive viewer engagement platform for any live broadcast. Uh, we do a lot of work in local, so 60 plus uh, local TV stations in the US. 30 or 40 national and international and streaming customers. Um, and our basic theory, and I think this is pretty obvious now, but wasn't obvious a few years ago, all live video in the future is gonna have some kind of participation. You look at Twitch TV, they got chat. It's pretty good for audience participation and they built a billion dollar business on it, so it's hard to complain. But I think we can go a lot beyond that when it comes to audience interaction, that's what we do. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look and uh, maybe you could show us uh, an, a little demo here. Yep. So we've actually loaded up uh, our demo URL. Demo URL is trymptv.com for our demo. But we're going to play along to start with the Talking Dead. So these guys are the live after show after The Walking Dead. You know, Walking Dead does 10 to 20 million viewers a night. These guys do somewhere like, you know, 5 to 10 million viewers a night. So it's a big show. Here we got Conan O'Brien. He's a Walking Dead super fan. He's on the show. They're asking the audience, would Conan O'Brien survive the zombie apocalypse? So on my phone, synced up in real time, the question appears. I can vote yes. We're going to see the answers come out instantaneously on air. If you want to, you can vote I'll no. Vote, I'll, vote, uh, I'll vote no. Okay, so there we go. You're going to see it. Click it, and then you're going to see the audience opinion on air instantaneously. So why is this like fun, or even how does it work? In this case, this is an unscripted show, an unscripted segment. So Conan O'Brien can actually see these results because they're put in the teleprompter. So he's looking straight into the camera and he's watching the audience vote. Now in real life, the audience voted, no, he's not going to survive the zombie apocalypse. And Conan, being a great improviser, starts getting angry. So he gets up and he's like, of course I'd survive the zombie apocalypse. You know, I'm six foot four, I'm full of Irish rage, I survived network TV for 20 years, like I would survive. Of course the fans are messing with him, they start voting no more and more and more. He gets more and more angry. So you're looking at an unscripted segment where somebody who's admittedly a great improviser is actually talking directly to the audience about what they're voting because he can see the results right in the teleprompter. That's a great example, but it might be a newscaster who's responding to your votes on a story. It might be a sporting event where they're commenting on whether you agree or disagree. Like, oh, here's a red card in soccer. Was it deserved or not deserved? That's the kind of thing you'll see. So this is a great example of that type of show. And what does the future hold for this technology? Where do you see it going? And, uh, you know, why is audience engagement so important in this day and age? Okay, I mean, that's... That's a big question. It's a big question, but, but how about this? Um, our perspective really is that every viewer now expects some kind of back channel into the broadcast. Either it's like a, you know, we're kind of tweeting with each other around the show, and so we're doing some kind of chat in Twitter, maybe. But that's not part of the show. So they started kind of bringing Twitter chat into the show in lower thirds. But even that's not really part of the show. What we really want everybody to feel is, look, if you're at home and you're watching a sporting event by yourself, not bad. You got a couple of buddies over, you're watching the game, better. You all go to a sports bar, even better. You all go to the stadium, even better. Why? In each one of those steps, you feel more and more of the humanity around you as part of this collective experience. That's what we do. I mean, you've got you know, hundreds of thousands of people in some of our shows playing along here, and you can feel that energy, and you can feel the energy when it comes out into the broadcast. Our perspective is that pretty much every live broadcast is gonna have something like that. And we think about this two-screen world, this is very transitionary. This is what TV looks like today. A lot of what we're doing now, especially with our streaming customers, CBS is a good example, Legendary is a good example, Rooster Teeth, the game streaming guys, a good example. We're going to a one-screen world. You've got megaphone video on a computer or in an app. Uh, sorry, you've got a video from the streaming you know, company. You've got megaphone interactivity next to or on top of that. When you really think about that kind of stuff, you know, people need a reason to tune into things live. You're playing along with something. You're playing a live game show. It's live, and HQ Trivia has done a great job of that. You know, they've made destination programming. And so we've kind of had audience participation, destination programming on our radar for quite a number of years and have been advocating it. I think the whole world has kind of realized now there's a ton of value in that. So make a great reason for your audience to show up on time, and they will. And that's what we're trying to do. Fantastic. Well, it's very exciting technology. Uh, thank you so much for the for the tour and the demo. Yeah. And where can people find out more about uh, Megaphone? Yeah, we're at megaphonetv.com. All the information you might need is right there.